Is the Hackintosh dead? Uh, today, Apple officially introduced their transition to their own in-house designed ARM chips for the Mac lineup, calling it Apple Silicon. You know, in typical Apple tradition, they couldn't just say they were switching to ARM chips. Uh, but while this likely will bring many benefits to the end users and probably a faster product, one thing, uh, one question I know people are asking is, does this mean the end of Hackintosh and the Hackintosh community? And I have some bad news, but the answer almost certainly is yes. Now, not today, it's gonna be years, but just, um, just keep that in mind. But not today, not today, and I don't mean to make this kind of a clickbaity title that you know all of a sudden tomorrow, or with the release of the, of the uh, Big Sur, operating system that uh, they're, they're going to be completely dead. Uh, Tim Cook did explicitly mention that Intel-based Macs will be supported for years to come, but once Mac OS doesn't run on off-the-shelf Intel and AMD components, um, there's going to be no way to build a Hackintosh anymore as all of the parts are going to be proprietary Apple silicon. So, what does that mean for upgradability of Mac products? Well, that's anybody's guess. Uh, but looking at the current state of things outside of the Mac Pro, Macs aren't very upgradable to begin with. So I would say expect more of the same, uh, right? Nobody ever talks about upgrading their iPad or their iPhone, you just buy the latest one. Um, I would, I would assume, assume a very similar thing, especially with MacBooks, that they're not gonna gain any extra upgradability <laughs> Um, as as the components tend tend to be soldered on to begin with, so um, we'll call the Mac Pro on this. Let's call that one a wild card, as that one is currently designed, at least in its current configuration, to be modular and use uh, well upgradable off-the-shelf components. But once those don't exist anymore, uh, it's hard to you know hard to say what that's really going to look like um, down the road. But one thing I think we can say with more certainty is that the Hackintosh days are numbered. Not today, but in a few years. Probably if I had to venture a guess, say, let's say five years or so after the last Intel-based Mac Pro ships. So I have no information, uh, I haven't talked to anybody, I have no sources, but if I had to give you my best guess, 2027 is when the Hackintosh will truly be dead. And it would make sense if you just purchased one of those fully maxed out 50 some thousand dollar Mac Pros, you'd be pretty angry too if it wasn't supported in uh, in two years. And I wouldn't expect that to, to happen. And let's be honest, Apple does have a great track record of supporting their products for, for a pretty long time. Heck, up until Mac OS Catalina came out in 2019, a 2009 Mac 4.1 could still run Mojave, which was the latest uh, version of Mac OS. So 10 years uh, that people managed to get out of, of those devices. And heck, you still see them on uh, eBay and uh, Facebook Marketplace and places like that right now, still being uh, used and still being useful. So while it is likely that uh, Hackintosh is gonna be less useful as future versions of macOS do get optimized further uh, towards their own internal chip architecture, uh, you know, permitting better performance for, for the ARM processor ones compared to the aging Intel ones. The benefit of building your own computer and then installing macOS on it is likely to end long before, before the official uh, it, it becoming impossible to build it. So not super exciting news for a Hackintosh builder, but uh, interesting. I'm definitely curious to see how this, this unfolds and what, what benefits come along with it uh, over the years. So what do you think? What, uh, what are your opinions on it? Uh, how do you feel? Uh, shoot me a comment below. Let me know what you think. I'd love to, love to engage and love to hear from you. Hey, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.